But there's been an American nightmare that has accompanied that, and that's where people that equally have tried to get educated and worked hard and had good habits have found themselves living a life that's been on the edge throughout their entire lives and the same for their children. Warren Buffett's observation about the American nightmare is a stark reminder of the financial struggles faced by many. Despite their best efforts to get educated, work hard, and cultivate good habits, numerous Americans find themselves teetering on the edge of financial insecurity, a situation that often extends to their children as well. This grim reality is illustrated by a staggering statistic. Approximately 58% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. This means that a significant portion of people you encounter, even in places as mundane as a grocery store, are battling to make ends meet. These individuals, constituting a majority of the population, face challenges in affording even their basic needs. Interestingly, being broke isn't always correlated with income levels. There are instances where individuals, even on a minimum wage, have successfully grown their savings into substantial amounts. Conversely, there are those earning six-figure salaries who still find themselves caught in the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle. The differentiating factor often boils down to personal choices and financial habits. Warren Buffett himself is an exemplar of building wealth from modest beginnings. His journey underscores the importance of making smart financial decisions, irrespective of one's starting point. Buffett famously said, if you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. This statement highlights the necessity of developing income streams that do not solely depend on active labor. To break free from the cycle of debt and live a fulfilling life, understanding Buffett's approach to wealth accumulation is crucial. His insights reveal five key factors that keep people in a state of financial precarity. I've done a lot of research on how Warren Buffett got rich and found something surprising. It turns out he has five key things that are keeping people poor, and I'm going to share them with you today and it all starts with having a zero balance mentality. Let us start. Number one, zero balance. Imagine you have $500 in your bank account. It's common to think that means you have $500 to spend. However, this is a misconception. Listening to Warren Buffett's wisdom sheds light on this. My advice to you is uh, if you can't pay for it, don't buy it and get yourself in a position where you can pay for anything and then we'll be glad to see it. Borsheim's or Nebraska Furniture Mart. Buffett's point is clear. Just because you have $500, it doesn't mean you should spend all of it. This mindset is what's known as zero balance thinking, a major obstacle to building wealth. It's not your income that defines your financial status. It's how you manage your money. For example, Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest people in the U.S., maintains a modest lifestyle, spending around 100 k annually. Contrast this with someone earning 50 k and spending the same amount, they're essentially broke. The same goes for someone earning 100 k but also spending it all. The key is to save a portion of your income for emergencies and investments, allowing your money to grow over time. Warren Buffett's long-term investment approach is a testament to this. He recalls, on this March 11th in a couple weeks, it'll be 77 years since I bought my first stock and I paid 114.75 for three shares of City Service Preferred. Subscribe and hit the bell to see new videos. Thank you. To illustrate zero balance thinking, consider a story about my coworker. He was always dressed in the latest fashion. One year, our company gave a $400 stimulus check. He decided to spend the entire amount on a new pair of pants, rather than investing or saving it. To avoid falling into this trap, there's a simple rule, the rule of five. If you can't afford to buy five of the same items in cash, then you can't afford it. With $500, this means only purchasing items that cost up to $100. Warren Buffett advises simplicity in financial decisions. I don't look to jump over seven-foot bars. I look around for one-foot bars that I can step over. This approach keeps the journey to wealth manageable. An often overlooked aspect of spending, as Buffett points out, is the long-term value. Just like being in that buyer of food, I expect to buy food the rest of my life, and I hope that food goes down in price tomorrow when stocks are down. We're going to be buying on balance, and who wouldn't rather buy a, you know, a lower price at a higher price? In summary, 
Avoiding zero balance thinking and being strategic with spending and investments is essential for financial stability and growth. Number two, payment traps. Warren Buffett's insights into financial stability are simple yet profound. He warns of the dangers lurking behind seemingly low prices and affordable payments, a trap many fall into, mistaking appearance for reality. This concept becomes clear when observing people who appear wealthy, but in reality, are not. They own expensive items, creating an illusion of wealth that's often far from the truth. Buffett aptly remarks, Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. This metaphor reveals the stark difference between apparent wealth and actual financial stability. It's common to see individuals driving luxurious cars or flaunting high-end gadgets yet their financial foundation is shaky at best. Consider the case of someone purchasing a Tesla Model S. It's an impressive vehicle, and they can manage monthly payments of $600. However, this doesn't necessarily mean they can afford the car outright. The true cost of such a vehicle, upwards of $75,000, is often far beyond their actual financial reach. This situation exemplifies the illusion of affordability, especially prevalent in deals offering zero APR. These offers allow consumers to acquire items, from electronics to appliances, with seemingly manageable monthly installments. For example, a snowblower costing between $300 to $500 at Walmart might seem affordable at $30 to $40 a month. But these payments add up, leading to a significant financial burden over time. When you combine such payments with other obligations like credit card debt, phone bills, insurance, and mortgages, the financial strain becomes overwhelming. The other one is from people who run up credit card debt and they're facing bankruptcy or they've been through bankruptcy once before and they owe a whole bunch of money and they can't, they can't even pay the interest, let alone pay any principal and half of my letters come from people like that and that, that, that problem is avoidable. Buffett observes that many face dire situations due to accumulated debt, sometimes leading to bankruptcy. He notes that a significant portion of the letters he receives are from individuals struggling under such financial burdens. The key message here is to be wary of payment traps. These seemingly convenient payment plans often lead to a cycle of debt and financial instability. Buffett's advice highlights the importance of understanding the true cost of our desires and the potential pitfalls of easy credit. In avoiding these traps, we must reassess our spending habits and prioritize financial health over temporary gratification. Number three, compounding. Understanding the concept of compounding is crucial once you've navigated away from payment traps and the zero balance mindset. Compounding, often described as magical, is the process through which your money grows exponentially over time. Warren Buffett, a proponent of this concept, has always aimed to make his ventures, whether partnerships or corporations, into compounding machines. When we get chances to deploy the capital, we've always tried to make any entity whether it was the partnership originally or the Orchard Now or Blue Chip Snaps, where we owned it, or even Diversified Retained, we wanted them all to be compounding, in effect, be compounding machines. To harness the power of compounding, one must grasp two critical terms that Buffett knows well, assets and liabilities. Assets, such as dividend-paying stocks or real estate, are possessions that put money in your pocket. In contrast, Liabilities like cars, clothes, or the latest smartphones take money out of your pocket. The common mistake among many is to purchase liabilities under the guise of appearing wealthy. However, true wealth is achieved by accumulating assets. We both had a fair amount of experience in real estate and Charlie made in his early money in real estate. Let's consider a practical example. I knew someone who was financially well off and pondering their next financial move. They were torn between buying a flashy car, a long-held dream, and investing in real estate, a path to wealth accumulation often cited by successful individuals like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. Eventually, this individual decided to invest in a small apartment complex. After preparing the property, they secured a tenant and began earning a $400 monthly profit. This scenario is a classic example of how an asset generates ongoing income, whereas a liability, despite its appeal, offers no financial return. A practical approach to effective compounding is the five to one rule. For every $5 spent on liabilities, 
invest $1 in assets. For instance, if you spend $50 at Walmart, invest $10 in Walmart stocks. Similarly, a $100 expenditure at Amazon should be accompanied by a $20 investment in Amazon. This strategy not only promotes financial discipline, but also ensures that your money is continuously working for you, paving the way to greater wealth through the power of compounding. Number four, flashy lifestyle. The allure of a flashy lifestyle, often amplified by social media, can be deceptive. Platforms teem with images of people exuding wealth, but behind the scenes, the reality is starkly different. Many incur substantial debts to maintain an appearance of affluence, especially for their online persona. Stories abound of individuals who have gone thousands of dollars into debt just for social media validation. The antidote to this trend is surprisingly straightforward, avoiding the flashy lifestyle. Consider Warren Buffett, a paragon of modest living despite his immense wealth. Rarely seen in branded suits, Buffett is known for his frugal habits, including eating affordably and residing in the first home he ever purchased. His approach underscores a profound truth. Genuine wealth is not about ostentatious display, but about the value and meaning we find in our lives. Number five, step ahead. In a world where businesses are often labeled as solely profit-driven, it's essential to recognize that survival and growth are at the core of our economic system. This reality brings to light an important choice each of us faces, the decision to buy or not to buy. The crux of the matter lies not in the act of purchasing itself, but in the discernment used in making these decisions. Many people fall into the trap of buying unnecessary items, driven by impulse rather than need. Developing a filter to curb these impulsive purchases can significantly change your financial landscape. When you resist the urge to buy indiscriminately, you begin to feel richer, not just in monetary terms, but also in the control you exercise over your financial decisions. This newfound financial discipline opens up opportunities for investing. As you witness your investments grow, the desire to accelerate this growth becomes stronger. This is where the transition from being merely a saver and investor to a producer comes into play. By understanding how businesses operate and generate income, you can adopt similar strategies to enhance your own financial situation. This might mean dedicating more hours at your current job to secure a promotion or exploring entrepreneurial ventures like freelancing or starting a small business. The goal is to increase your income, allowing you to invest in more assets and expedite wealth accumulation. Warren Buffett's words, What matters is preparation. Predicting rain doesn't count. Building arcs does. What matters is preparation. Predicting rain doesn't count, building arcs does, resonate profoundly here. It's not enough to anticipate financial challenges or opportunities. What's crucial is taking proactive steps to secure your financial future. Whether it's through enhancing your career, delving into business ventures, or wise investing, the key is to actively build your financial arc. We are hoping to see you in the next video. This video is going to help you speed up your success step by step. So, go ahead click this and get on the faster track.